In this workout, we are going to be working the abs and the core. Hi, I'm Jen with Happy Conduct Fitness. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a workout. Okay, get ready for those hardcore abs. So we're gonna start off in a high plank position and we're just gonna do some knee dips. So go ahead and get in position. Just a high plank. So you're gonna stack your hands right underneath your shoulders and you're just gonna dip your knees down. So double knee dip, just like that. Make sure you're keeping those hips down which helps keep the bottom down. We are gonna be doing 10 moves. Each exercise is going to be a minute long. Okay, one more knee dip here. And we're gonna take it down to our backs for some bicycle crunches. So go ahead and take it on down. Roll it down, hands behind the head, and you're just gonna alternate elbow to knee and extend that leg. So we're getting into the obliques here. Working those abs and the obliques. After this, we're going to take it back up into a plank position. One more here. Okay. Now, back up into a plank position here. We're going to do some mountain climbers. So again, high plank, hands under the shoulders, and you're just going to drive one knee towards the chest at a time. Keeping that core nice and tight. Abs are engaged, hips are down, and just drive those knees into the chest. Nice and slow pace. Nothing too crazy here. Make sure you're breathing. We are almost done here, and we are going to take it into a side plank. Okay, one more. So get into a side plank position. So getting into that side plank position, you're gonna support yourself on your forearm here, raise your hips up, and then your top leg should be in front of the, the back leg for some support. Helps with balance here. And you're just gonna dip your hip down. So keeping that core nice and tight here. We are getting into those side obliques. We're gonna do one side at a time. So we're just gonna hold it here for one minute. And then we're gonna switch it up to some crunches, and then we'll get into the other side. Well, I am sure feeling it. Keep it going. Whew, I feel it in my shoulder too. So we are not only working that core, we are working the upper body. Okay. So let's take it back down onto our backs here. And you're gonna extend your legs straight up so they're parallel with your hips. And we're just gonna crunch it out here with our legs up. So go ahead and crunch. Make sure you're keeping that low back on the ground. And you don't have to have your legs completely straight. You can keep a slight bend in the knee. Whatever is most comfortable for you. Let's 
let's just crunch it out here. And then we're gonna work that other side with the side planks. Doing great. All right, one more crunch. Bring it down. And you're gonna get onto the opposite side. So on that forearm again, top leg forward. Lift those hips off that mat, and you're just gonna dip it down, getting into those obliques. And with your free arm, you can do whatever you want with it. Just make sure you're comfortable. You could put it on your hip, uh, lay it down behind your head, whatever works for you. Work it out. We're gonna get back into a high plank position after we're working this side. After we're done working this side, one more here. Bring it down. I can sure feel it in my obliques. So back into the high plank position here. And you're gonna to wanna to take your arms just a little bit wider. And we're gonna do some shoulder taps. So wider stance, it helps for balance. And you're just gonna tap the shoulder. So you're gonna have a slight rocking motion from side to side to keep your balance as you're tapping your opposite shoulder here. This move should be done nice and slow so that you don't lose your balance. Doing great. Keep that core nice and engaged. Squeeze those abs. One more shoulder tap here. Bring those knees down. We're gonna take it back down to our backs. So go ahead, lay down. You're gonna reach your arms out behind you and you're just gonna crunch to the opposite leg. And you're just gonna tap the ankle area, the leg area, whatever area you can reach. Maybe it's your toes, that's fine. Reach for your toes. Just make sure you're squeezing those abs every time you reach and reach. Keep reaching and keep squeezing. Last one here. Okay, so now you're gonna take it back up into a high plank position and we're gonna do some knee dips again. But this time, instead of doing the double knee dip, we're gonna do a single knee dip. So just dip one knee at a time. Keeping those hands underneath your shoulders, core nice and tight, hips down. Keep squeezing. We're almost done with this workout. It's a 10 minute hardcore abs workout. You can get a nice good workout in your abs and your core in 10 minutes. So keep it going here. Okay, now we're gonna take it back down on your bottom and we're gonna do a Russian twist. So you are going to just be twisting from side to side here. Any movement with your hand is fine. You can clasp your hands together, that's fine. And also, you can lift those heels up off your mat, leaning back a little bit for a little bit more of a challenge. And you're just twisting here, working those obliques. 
keep it going. This is the last move here. We are almost done. Squeeze that core, those abs. Really get into those obliques. Let's count it down here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good job. Great job. Thanks for working out with me. I'll see you next time.